Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the VP Rentals Content Grid widget for Elementor. We showcase this widget in our Barcelona demo. You can see it here. In this demo the widget is set to display blog posts, but you can also set it to display listings. In this video you will learn how to create a section with this widget and how to manage the widget settings. The widget will work with Elementor. I have already created the section where the widget will show and first I will need to edit the page with Elementor. I will click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to the section where I want to display the widget. I will look for the widget here. This is the one I will add it in the page with drag and drop. In content section you will need to add here the IDs of the elements that you want to show in the widget. First I will show how to add blog posts IDs. So I will go to the site backend. Here you will need to go to posts and you will need to copy the ID of the posts that you want to display on front end. I will copy the first ID and paste it in the widget. You'll see that the first element showed. The IDs need to be separated by a comma. I will go back and copy more IDs. I will copy two more. You can add as many elements in this section and the height of the main element here will adjust. I have added one post as main post here and four other posts in the second section. Once you are done with setting the elements that you want to display in the widget, you can go to style and here you can manage design settings. For example, you can add here a space between columns, you can add a space between rows, you can add an image border radius. These are the settings for the item. In the next section, you can set internal padding, you can set the items here background color. I will change the color. You can add border radius. In the font styles, you can manage the typography for the widget. You can set the typography for the title in the main item. You can set the font family, font size, font weight and make other settings. You can set the typography for the second item's title. You will have the same options. And the rest of the options here will apply if the elements in the widget will be listings. So I will show this as soon as I set the widget for listings. You can set here a title margin. Also you have the option to set box shadow. I will save the changes that I made and now on front end I have the section with the settings that I made. I have the section showing blog posts with the settings that I made in the widget. Going back I will go back to content and you can set the widget to display listings so I will remove the post IDs and I will go back to admin to copy listings ID. I will go to listings and here you will find the listings IDs. I will copy the ID for the main listing in the widget and I will copy three more IDs. Now the widget will show only listings. If you go to style, the same settings will apply, just that in font styles you will have the option to set typography for the main price here and for the second one here. The same options can be done for the secondary item price and you will also have options for the address typography for the main element and for the secondary ones here. Once you are done with the font style settings, you can save changes and on front end the section will display your listings. Going back to homepage and in content, you can also set mixed IDs, you can leave as main element a listing and for the rest you can add blog posts. I will copy back the blog posts IDs. You can set the IDs as you need it. You can make different combinations. You can add a blog post as main elements and listings as secondary ones. You'll have the option to mix the IDs as you want. I will save the change that I made here as well. And now on front end I will have a listing as main element and here I will have blog posts. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.